they always say a picture can tell a thousand words, but I never really saw how that was possible. But after this workshop, I, I, can, I can see that. And a photo essay is more than one photo, so thousands of words. My love lost my life I can't find a minimal I can't find a minimal And if there's something I could give I would have given it before now Cause I came back a little broken Things don't feel When we first started Thinking about working with the Volpos project for homeless youth, the first thing that got our attention was a number. Every night, in the Volpos, 3,000 people sleep in the street, and 800 of them were, were young people. So you don't see that every day. It's like a, some sort of hidden reality. But then suddenly, after the first day, everything changed. The first eight people that we started working with, they stopped being a number, and they, they became people. They had their own stories. They had stuff to tell. When I was younger, I had my family and boys. Just a little conflict in the house. And my was just going to go The Gold Coast Project for Homeless Youth is an organisation that provides accommodation to um, homeless young people um, and we also in that run a life skills program so um, it's about you know, re-engaging them in the community, whether that's education employment, to help them you know, learn the things they need to so that when they leave our organisation hopefully they're transitioning into independent accommodation and uh, won't find themselves homeless. One of the first premises of the workshop was for them to have a camera and take that with them. Going out and do whatever you want. Something that we were thinking we were going to achieve in a couple of hours, then we end up doing it in four days, you know, and going there more than 10 times and spending a whole month sitting back and forth with them. Because there is no way you can understand a group of people if you don't spend time with them. And then each person would develop a plan to create a photo essay about that topic. So it was really interesting to see that development. To see an idea going from a few words, a few sentences, and those sentences becoming photos. This one I was presently me being behind bars as a, another side of being on freedom. So there's actually not much freedom in this world. We decided to help the project uh, because we felt it would be much more meaningful for us and for the community. But in this picture I made sure you can also see the background and the foreground and in either case there's no one there, there's nothing. So it's like when you're trying to express your emotions, when you're trying to be someone happy but you're just pretending. Yeah, so we're um, a non-for-profit um, company um, and it's a non-government organisation also but we do receive funding from the Department of Housing and Public Works but you know we do receive um, clothing donations so that's for young people who might come in off the street and don't have anything except for the clothes that they're wearing. But I think the biggest thing is for there to be awareness in the community that youth homelessness is a big deal and it does need our attention. I just took a photo of the ocean to show that the way it's coming and coming out, the way that people move in the air.